This is a 2012 1SS Camaro. I did LED lights on the door sills or door jams and also on the floors. I did a separate video on how I did the door sills. This one is only about how I did the floors. In the back, I used um, I used four inch LED strips. In the front, I used 12 inch LED strips. I bought everything at AutoZone. Um, in the back, if you look at this right here, that is a piece of sheet metal that I bought at Menards. Menards is sort of like Home Depot or Lowe's if it's not there's not one where you live at. And the sheet metal was already 18 inches by 6 inches. So I cut it in half and used it on both sides. And then um, I cut it down to the, to the size I needed and folded it, drew lines and folded it with cinder blocks um, using cinder blocks to make it to where I could use it back here. And if you look underneath here, you can see it. There's um, this, this right here, this cloth thing right here is, there's a gap underneath it and it, it slides up underneath it sort of like a, and, and, and a, sort of like a bobby pin. It just fits right up in there, slides up in there. And then um, that goes down about an inch and a quarter. You know, I just stuck the LED light to that. And also to the connector where the LED, where the cord, the, the plug plugs into the LED, I put double sided tape behind it and some black um, duct tape so that anybody puts their foot on it, it doesn't come off easy. In the front, nobody's gonna put their foot on it. So back here, I just didn't want it to come off with the seat moving back and forth. And um, also the, the cords, the wires, I wanted them short as possible because um, I didn't want a bunch of wire hanging where it can get stuck in the door track. And um, and if underneath here, underneath the door track, there's a big gap between, between the floor and the door track. So I ran the wires through here. Let's move this back a little bit. Oops. These things pop off. You know, you pop it off, and that ran the wires through there, and it comes out through the bottom, down by where the you see belt is, and goes underneath the door track. And this this seat goes back and forth by eight and a half inches. So I got the wires as short as I could. That way I didn't have a bunch of the seats kind of up right now. But um, so that way I didn't have a bunch hanging out. And um, if you put the seat back, that wire just gets covered. Um, so, and to run it from side to side, the negative and positive, so I can run it to underneath the dash on the other side. If you pull this back, it goes underneath this part right here. You can run wires under there real easy. And um, so, in the front, under here, you probably can't see it, maybe. But there's a place to stick it to, under here. On the other side, there was no place to really stick it to. I had, so I had to, I bought this at, at um, I bought it at Lowe's. It's just a, a thin metal strip. I forgot they use it for, it was like a dollar. No, I bought that one at Menards. It's like um, a dollar something. And I used that, and I hung it up underneath this, this passenger side with zip ties and, um, and with um, wire ties. It's just hanging there. I drew hill, holes where I needed to so I can make it work right. I had to draw small holes on part of my dash under there, but it's, it's hardly even noticeable. You can't see it. If you're going to do this, you'll see what to do. And then I stuck the 12-inch um, the LED to that, to LED strip to that, and it works just fine. Now in the back, I used the regular LEDs. In the door sills, I used the regular LEDs. And in the back, I used the regular LEDs, four inch. But in the front, I used um, I used hyper bright ones because I thought they just looked better. It's the same brand. I mean, the same people that make them both, but they make a hyper bright. So the ones in the front, under the front floor are a little brighter than the ones in the door sills. But it looks good. Um, and how I wired the, how I wired this is if you can look in right there, this is behind here on the driver's side, the fuse box is right here. And those two wires there are actually something else I wired in the car. They look like they're hooked to the same place, but it's not. It's they're hooked to two different spots. But um I pulled the fuse out and that's where the, I found it to, to find because I wanted mine hooked to the accessory wire to to something that turns on and off with the accessory. And so when I turn the car on, the lights come off. When I turn the car off, the, um, the lights go off. 
I also put a switch under the dash so that I can turn it off while I'm driving if I wanted to. But um, I pulled I pulled the fuse out and I had to make sure I get on the right side because if I got on the wrong side, it, there would be too much going through that fuse and it would blow it because that fuse goes to something else in the car. And uh, so I went on, I pulled it out and I turned the key on and off and I use a multimeter and I stuck the, the positive in one side and I stuck the negative in from the multimeter to something metal on the car and to turn the key on and off to make sure that I got it the right side. Now if I'm on the wrong side and I turn the key on and off, I'm not going to get no juice at all. So I'm getting a, a 12, 12 volt connection coming from that side and the fuse is not sharing anything. The fuse is not sharing um, whatever else the fuse goes to in the car, it's not sharing it. It's just, I'm just getting connection from that side of the fuse. And um, and some people use one of these, but I did not. That's probably a safer way. That is a fuse tab. And what you do with that is you, it, it takes two fuses and um, you pull out the fuse and you put the fuse back in it and you put a fuse in for the, um, for the uh, whatever you're running electricity to. And you hook your positive wire to that wire and you hook your negative wire to some metal part of the car. But I did not do it that way. So um, on the, I hooked, actually hooked mine to this red wire that is going to, the red wire is going to something else in the car that runs off of accessory. You can't see it in the picture, but actually I cut the wire and the wire I got going to my LED lights are black. So I, I, you can't see in the picture, but I cut the wire and I hooked it to that red wire. That red wire is sharing because the LED lights use very, very little juice, very, very little electricity. So um, that red wire is sharing it, going to um, whatever else I hook to the car, in the car, for the accessory and also to my LEDs. And I also ran the LEDs through a fuse, a fuse link, which you cannot see in the picture. And the reason why is because I'm not a GM, GM expert. There's modules and computers all over this car. And I don't want to take a chance of the positive and negative touching on the LEDs and sending a charge back to the computer or module. And what would happen? I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I didn't want to take a chance. Um, but anyway, I did break one of these, these LEDs, and the um, on the passenger side, and um, where, where the the plug connects to the to the, the LED strip by messing with it. So I had to go and buy, buy another one, an extension. And it looks looks pretty damn good at night. And um, oh, what the LEDs, when I hook the LED lights up inside here, I hook my positive, my positive coming from the LED to right there where the fuse goes in. And the negative, I hooked, I grounded it to some metal part in the car, which you can just find any bolt that's hooked to the metal part of the frame anywhere under the dash undo the bolt just a little bit um, um take take about that much off the end of a wire to where there's bare, bare wire showing and wrap the wire underneath the bolt and tighten the bolt back down on it that's how i grounded it and um the, the door sills are running off a separate power source than the floors because i want the door sills to turn on and off with the dome light and i made a separate video on how i did the dorm sills but anyway it looks really good at night so yeah yeah, the back and front lit up. It looks really awesome at night. But I, I ended up for the door sills and the floors. Um, I spent more than I thought I was going to. I ended up, when I looked at armory seats, I ended up spending $181. But somebody else could probably do it a lot cheaper if they don't go crazy like I did. You know, because I bought a, a switch underneath the dash and fuse links and, and um, tape and all kinds of stuff. Extra wire. But anyway, that is how I did it.